Here Simon continues to add some skin accents and sharpen up some of the details along the surface. Now Simon will start sculpting in the clothing for his character. He'll switch over to the Slash 2 brush. This is a good brush to use because it displaces one side of the surface a bit more than the other. This is a great way to kind of make those seams in the clothing that you see here. And just as we saw earlier when Simon was using the clay brush to sculpt up some quick forms and then smoothing things down, you'll see that here with the Slash 2 brush. He'll quickly just sculpt in the form he wants and then use Smooth to kind of refine that form a bit more. Again with Slash 2 he'll make small little circles just to make those buttonholes. back to the slash 2 brush to define some of the creases in the back of the jacket and again you can see that displacement of the surface where one side kind of pushes up a little bit more than the other again making this a good brush for fabrics By now you should see that Simon goes back very often to that Damien standard brush to kind of sharpen up some of the form that he's built into the surface, whether it be some of the skin detail or even here some of the jacket detail. Next, Simon's going to be working on the separation or the joint in the claw, and he'll do this pretty much the same way that he worked on the sleeve of the character, which is to use the Damien standard brush to first draw a seam around the area, and then he'll go back around that area holding down the alt key, again with the Damien standard brush, to build up a little bit of an outer lip along that edge. Continuing to add more surface detail, Simon's going to switch back to Alpha 23, use the Displace brush and the Drop Rectangle Stroke. 